Hello and good day. This is Teacher Onindi Guzman. Welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is solving direct variation. In this lesson, you will learn the following. Number one, illustrate situations that involve direct variation. Number two, translate into variation statement a relationship between direct variation between two quantities given by table values, a mathematical equation, a graph, and vice versa. And finally, solve problems involving direct variations. Direct variation occurs when one quantity is equal to a constant times the other quantity. In symbol, we can rewrite this one as y is equal to k times x, where k is y over x is the constant of variation. Sometimes we call this one as constant of proportionality. And we can express this as y, that is directly as x, y is directly proportional to x or y is proportional to x. Let's have the following example. So n is directly proportional to j. I can rewrite this one as n is equal to k times j where k is equal to n over j. Another example is the circumference C of a circle varies directly as the length of its diameter d. In symbol, C is equal to K times D, where K is equal to C all over D. And lastly, the cos H of fish varies directly as the number P of kilos bought. In symbol, I can rewrite this one as H is equal to K times P, where K is equal to H over P. So let's move on to the first problem. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 48, when x is equal to 16, find the constant of variation and equation. First, let's list down the given. So we have y is equal to 48, then x is equal to 16. First, we want to find out the constant of variation. Now, in order to find the constant of variation, so let's have letter A. So, we will use the equation y is equal to k times x. Again, our y is equal to 48, while k is still unknown, times 16. To get the value of k, divide both sides of the equation by 16. So, k is equal to 3. So this is the constant of variation. Next, letter B. We want to find out the equation of direct variation. So again, let's use the equation y is equal to k times x. Take note that k is equal to 3. So let's substitute that. So 3 times x. So this is equal to y. So therefore, the equation of the direct variation is equal to y is equal to 3 times x. So let us consider problem number 2. The table shows a relation between the distance in kilometer and in time in hour. Find the constant of variation and equation which describe the relation. Observe that the table we have independent variable t and the dependent variable d. Similarly, if we will use the direct variation equation of y is equal to k times x, wherein x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. Similarly, using the variable in the table, I can rewrite this one as d as dependent variable times constant n t as the dependent variable. Okay, to solve for the constant of the variation, I can divide both sides by t. So, k is equal to d over t. Now, 
if we will use the values in the table, I can have here k is equal to 80 over 1, which is equal to 80. Also, if I have 160 over 2, so this is also 80, which is the value of your k. Also, k, I can use also the values 240 over 3, this is also 80. Also, if I have 320 over 4, so this is also 80. Finally, K is the same as 400 over 5 is equal to 80. So therefore, since we have the same values of K, so therefore, our constant of variation is equal to 80. So this is our letter A. So this is our constant of variation. Next, to find. Okay, the equation that will describe the relation. So, distance is equal to k times t. So, it follows that distance is equal to, let's substitute the value of k, which is 80. So, we have 80 times t. So, therefore, the equation that will describe the relation is d is equal to 80 times t. Let us consider problem number three. The graph shows the number of bottles N produced by a machine and the time T in hours the machine is working. Find the constant of variation and the equation which describes the relation. So observe that our independent variable is T while our dependent variable is N. So I can rewrite the equation as n is equal to k times t, where in n is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. If I want to find the value of k or the constant of variation, I'll divide both sides of the equation by t. So, constant of variation is equal to n over t. Now, to get the value of k, I'll use two test points. Meaning to say, if the time is equal to 2, there are 1,800 bottles. Similarly, if I have 4 hours, there are 3,600 bottles. Now, I'll use these two po uh, test points in order to come up with my constant of variation. So, Let's have k is equal to 1,800 divided by 2. So, this is equal to 900. On the other hand, if I have 3,600 divided by 4, so this is equal to 900. So, therefore, my constant of variation, n over t, is the same as 9. Next, I want to find out the equation that will describe the relation. Recall that n is equal to k times t. So, substitute the value of k, which is equal to 900. So, I have 900 times t is equal to your n. So, therefore, n is equal to 900 times t. So, this is the equation that will describe the relation. Let us consider problem number 4. If P varies directly as Q and P is equal to 25, when Q is equal to 5, what is the value of Q when P is equal to 80? So, again, let us start with the given. So, we have here P is equal to 25, let this one as our P sub 1. Okay, so P sub 1 is equal to 25. So this is our first P. Then Q is equal to 5, meaning to say this is our Q sub 1. So let's write Q sub 1 is equal to 5. 
Next, we have here the value of Q. So therefore, we are looking for the second value of Q. So this is unknown. Next, P is equal to 80. So this is our P sub 2 equals 80. So recall that P varies directly to Q. So I can rewrite this one as P is equal to K times Q. So to find the value of the constant of variation, divide both sides by Q. So a constant of variation is the same as P all over Q. Substitute P. Okay, let's have here P sub 1, which is equal to 25, over Q sub 1 is equal to 5. So, therefore, this is equal to 5. So, therefore, the constant is equal to 5. Since I now know the value of the constant of variation, I can use now the equation of the relation. So, let's begin again. So, P is equal to K times Q. Substitute the value of K, which is 5, times Q. Now, since the P is equal to 80, so I can write here, 80 is equal to 5 times Q. So divide both sides by 5. So Q is the same as 16. So this is the value of the second Q. So there is another way to solve this one. So let's call this one as alternative. We will use the ratio and proportion concept. So recall that first Q all over Q sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 all over Q sub 2. Since P sub 1 is equal to 25 over 5 is equal to P sub 2 is equal to 80 all over Q sub 2 or simply as Q. Now, okay, simplifying it further, so I have here 25 Q sub 2 is equal to 5 times 80 is equal to 5 times 80 or I can rewrite this one as 25 Q sub 2 is equal to 400. Then divide both sides by 25. Q sub 2 is equal to 16. So therefore, the value of Q is equal to 16. Let us now consider problem number 5. The amount of paint P needed to paint the walls of the room varies directly as the area A of the wall. How many gallons of paint is needed to paint a wall with an area of 120 square meters if 2 gallons of paint can cover a 48 square meter wall? So let's start with our equation first. So we have P is equal to K times A since P varies directly to A. Next, so to find the constant of equation, so we divide both sides by A. So, K is equal to P over A. Since we know that the value of okay, K, which is equal to P over A, now let's identify based on the given. So, we can say that Okay, P sub 1 now is equal to, okay, P sub 1 is equal to 2. So we need 2 gallons and our area sub 1 is equal to 48. Next, we do not know our P sub 2, but the area given is equal to 120. So, let's work on with this. So, again, P is equal to 2 over 48. To find the value of our constant of variation, 
if B is equal to 2 and A is equal to 48. So, solving it further, so K is equal to 2 over 48 or in lowest terms, 1 over 24. So, since we know our constant of variation, then we can use this, okay, constant for our, okay, equation P is equal to K times A. So, we want to find out the equation that will describe the relation. So, again, so K is equal to 1 over 24 times A. Or in simplest form, I can have A over 24 is equal to your P. Now, since I know the value of my A now, which is equal to 120, to find the number of gallons okay, that I need to paint. So again, I have P is equal to A all over 24 let's substitute the value of a so a now is equal to 120 divided by 24 so this is equal to 5 so therefore it needs 5 gallons to paint a 120 square meter wall so let us consider alternative solution for problem number 5. So what we're going to do, we have here, okay, 120 is our area 1, okay, or A sub 1. Since we are looking for the number of gallons to paint, so this is our P sub 1, which is unknown. Next, we have... 2 as our P sub 2, which is equal to 2. Then we have A sub 2 is equal to 48. So we can use the ratio and proportion in order to solve this. So I have A sub 1 all over P sub 1 is equal to A sub 2 all over P sub 2. Then, I'll substitute the given values. So, A sub 1 is equal to 120. All over, P sub 1 is unknown. So, let's write P sub 1 is equal to 48 all over 2. Using the cross products, so I have 120 times 2. So, this is the same as 48 times P sub 1. So 120 times 2 is equal to 240, which is the same as 48 P sub 1. Then divide both sides by 48. So P sub 1 is equal to 5. So therefore, it needs 5 gallons to paint a 120 square meter wall. So, that is our discussion today. To summarize our discussion, again, in order to find the equation of the direct variation, so let's have letter A. So, we will find out first the constant of variation such that y is equal to k times kx, wherein k is equal to y all over x. Then after that, we will look for the value of the constant. Then substitute the constant for the equation of your direct variation. So again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified on my new videos.